What's up? This is Reed from Never Say Die, and you're listening to Pop Deflator Radio. What's up, guys? This is Ash with Pop Deflators, and I'm here with Reed of Never Say Die. What's up, Ash? How are you? I'm awesome. How are you doing? I'm really good. We are here in Pennsylvania playing a rock show. Yeah, it's kind of cold, but it's the last night of tour for you. It is, yeah, sadly. Um, although we are going to be back out in, uh, I think, two weeks. We're going home now. We've been out with another last year for three months. Mm-hmm. And then uh, linked up with them in the uh, in the southeast of North Carolina, and then we went across literally everywhere, from there to California and up, mm-hmm. and then back across through uh, through the Midwest, just kind of zigzagging up and down, and it's been incredible. So it's going to be sad to uh, sad to see them go, and. Uh, do their thing and yeah. we're going to do our thing. But oh. you said three months. Now, in the last mm-hmm. three months, you guys have done a lot. You put your album out. Uh-huh. You've been, like, hitting it hard on Octane. So yeah, that's true. Most pe- more people have been coming out and knowing who you are. It's been incredible. We literally just put our record out um, in January and started touring it. And, uh, and the response so far has been incredible. Yeah. Just from uh, MDD fans and from, you know, everyone that has heard mm-hmm. us on and found us through Octane. And uh, definitely having Octane, like literally it was the first day of the tour that Octane uh, started playing Like a Nightmare. Yeah. And we, we got the news. We were like, what? But, you know, um, we heard back from uh, from them and they started playing it on, on the air. Mm-hmm. And uh, just super grateful and super, what are like, I, I have, it's, I'm speechless, like, and it is kind of like starting so all over. Because yeah, you said absolutely. how you had My Darkest Days before. Mm. Yeah, we were, myself and uh, our bass player, Brandon, were in the band My Darkest Days um, until our hiatus when Matt had the opportunity to join Three Days Grace with mm-hmm. his brother. Uh, and yeah, no, it's, since then it's been, uh, it's been incredible. Like, I'm so grateful to be able to challenge myself to be a lead singer mm-hmm. and to have Matt, you know, who's been there uh, with us since day one and mm-hmm. been super, super supportive of us. And, you know, because we always grew up like, kind of um, looking up to Three Days Grace. Certainly Brendan is from Norwood and, and myself just a fan from Canada. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Three Days Grace had such a huge influence on us musically that it's like, what a trip to see him playing in that band. Like, yeah. you know, so it's it's incredible it's cool. and we're, we're super uh, we're super grateful for all their help and, and all, uh, all of the amazing things he's done for us. Yeah, and you can definitely still hear the My Darkest Days vibe mm-hmm. in your music now. Very much so, yeah. yeah. We, we reference those songs all the time, and we, we love that music. And I know there's a lot of people out there that love that music as much as we do. So we wanted to play, be able to play it and keep playing it. So mm-hmm. so could definitely. we expect some old My Darkest Days stuff in your set then? Definitely, yeah. yeah we play a bunch of My Darkest Days songs. That's sure. awesome. Yeah. We changed right. it up a bit. But <laughs> well, tell us about the new album. Uh, Destroy and Rebuild is out everywhere. It's on iTunes, Amazon, Spotify, Apple Music. And uh, it is 10 songs that uh, myself and the band wrote, mm-hmm. um, some of which I started writing years ago, and we kind of you know developed them over time. Um, I feel that it's a pretty consistent body of work about um, starting over, more or less, or that one finds, or change is only found through destruction, I suppose, mm-hmm. um, yeah, or all change is destructive. Okay. And it's, it's kind of like rebirth. That's great. Well, we love it. So it's doing great. And we already mentioned Like a Nightmare. Are we going to be seeing a video for it? Yeah, absolutely. It's just, uh, it, <laughs> it's funny. Vid- visual content was absolutely like a big, big focus of mine because I love it. And I really, really want to make, you know, cool video graphics to go yeah. along with everything. And uh, and as soon as we have like basically a situation where we can make that kind of video and, and, and have a way to streamline the workflow a little bit because I'd really like to get behind and be creative and have that yeah. you know opportunity creatively to take advantage of that. I just haven't had time because we've been working on new music and stuff like that. Just You're already have. working yeah, on I, new stuff. I, I'm, I'm sorry, yeah, I just I wrote a new record already, uh, but that's we're not going to put it out. We're not going to put it out for a while, but it, we're, we're, I'm just writing because that's what I like doing. So I wrote that and then we're going to try and put out an EP in the summertime just to scare people just to put some more music out, you know, because whatever, right? Like, I mean, we have so much content um, but definitely, I want to uh, I want to get our video. That's great. Uh, so we can have that, that to look forward to. Definitely, yeah. Okay. And this spring, are you going to be hitting up any of these big festivals? We are. We're playing Rock into Spring with Buck Cherry, Sick Puppies, and Trapped, as well as Adelita's Way, uh, Shallow Side, a bunch of really cool bands. Yeah. Um, a lot more bands. Than that. Another last year is going to be on it as well. Artifice, mm-hmm. um, who are you know, awesome. So it's going to be really cool. Cool. That into the summer and yeah, big absolutely. plans. Yeah, uh, Yeah, we're doing a, a couple yet to be announced shows in the okay. summertime that we're pretty excited about that uh, that should be announced soon. And then uh, yeah, and we're just gonna literally stay on tour until just tour, yeah, tour, until tour. The end of the year. Yeah, and then uh, and just come out again next year and do the same thing. So okay. What's your favorite thing about touring? 
Uh, definitely getting to meet people every night and be able to go out and play our, our music for people who listen to it is a really cool um, cool experience. So you definitely like more of this personal vibe that we have on this tour. Yeah, definitely. It's, it's a pleasure to be able to go out and, and be face-to-face -face with people who... Um, enable you to be able to be creative and have an, mm -hmm. an outlet for that and to have people that you know you can have an impact on in some way it's, it's an amazing thing so when you're able to connect with an audience live and you know do your thing it's it's a privilege for sure all right is there anything else we need to know um you definitely if you have twitter you need to request hashtag like a nightmare at, at sxm octane we heard it twice on the way down here. Amazing, twice. really? Twice. Seriously. <laughs> so they're cool. playing it. Good, good. Yeah, they're rocking it. We're number 11 on Biggins right now, so we're really stoked. No, you were higher. You were eight today. Oh, what? You were eight. Oh, my God. That's nuts. <laughs> no really? joke. That's silly. High five. <laughs> yeah. I love Octane. That's great. Yeah, Octane. <laughs> really? <laughs> Seriously. Wow, that's super cool. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, that's right. It's Saturday. Yeah. It New is, Biggins right. premiered this afternoon. <laughs> we listened on the way down. You were number wow. eight. Super cool. Yep. So you keep working Thanks. your way up and you're going to get there. Right on. We got faith well, in you. Thank you. Thank you very <laughs> much. This is great. All right. Anything else we need to know? Um, you're awesome. Keep you being, are awesome. You are awesome. Keep being awesome. All right. This is Ash checking out here. Never say die. See you guys.